Hey, I was just wondering if you could tell me what Grind Arrow is and what it means to you. It's me. Thank you. You're just German only, I think. I'm Miranda Miller. I'm your host of this episode of SRAM TV. We're in Hellenthal, Germany for Grindero. I've never raced gravel, never been to a Grindero, so we're gonna go find some people to kinda tell us how it all works. Let's go. What? How many gravel events have you done in the past? I did, my first ever gravel event was the Steamboat Springs Gravel in 2019. Then I had a two year hiatus, a three year, and I did one last weekend, well a couple of weekends ago, I did the RAND show in Spain. Um, it was going really well until the 130k mark where I punctured because I didn't have tubeless and I didn't realise tubeless was a thing at gravel events. But I think this weekend I have tubeless, so for my third gravel event, I'm third time lucky, I'm feeling prepared. Don't <laughs> Whoa! Way too high. God, looks cool. Where did you ride from? Uh, from Detmold. From the Teutoburger Wald Forest. Yeah. Uh, I drove 300 kilometers and need a beer. There it is! Oh. The man's got a beer! Hey! <laughs> so, I'm here with a uh, world champion who... Past world champion who just opted out of the pro category. Can you uh, fill me in on your mindset? Yeah, when I got the question, I just felt it was super intimidating because, uh, yeah, I, I really did not know what to answer. It was the first time that I really had to answer that question after retiring, and I was like, uh, mm, well, no, <laughs> technically no. <laughs> and what brings you to Grindero, Germany? Well, um, the format. I've heard really good things about this format and I was like, you know what, we're going to try that out. So there's been a lot of talk around the pit that you are bringing the heat this weekend. Uh, what do you think about that? I think maybe German only. You are very good at riding very long distances, aren't you? Yes, and the slow, slow is key in long distance because you can you can continue for days and days and days and weeks and months and <laughs> not years yet. But uh. <laughs> what's your longest ride? Uh, my longest one is uh, I went to the North Cape, so north of Norway. It was like four thousand six hundred kilometers. Chill, <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> what's your favorite part about Grindero? Well, it's fun. <laughs> Carlos, you're definitely a little more well known for the road cycling, but uh, here you are at Grindero, Germany. Uh, what inspired you to come here? Have fun on the bike, you know. The season in the road was quite long and, and hard, so at the end of the season I decided, I talked with the team and I asked them to, why, why don't do something different, go to the gravel, you know. I think now it's quite popular and enjoy cycling in a different way, you know. Less competitive, more social. At Grand Euro, we take our prologues seriously. So again, stand still start. Take the hint of this. You can do three attempts. Your fastest time will be on record, so... Up, 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 up. Yeah. Felt like I tried harder, but I don't know if I went faster. <laughs> Hard. Race day, hammered rain and wind all night. Uh, we're gonna go see if there's any casualties in the campsite. Uh, we came with the train all the way from uh, Geneva to here and then from the train station we rode here in the dark but uh, it was uh, awesome, it was really nice. And you camped last night? 
Yeah, we, are, we, <laughs> we came last night, uh, I was staying alone in the car, in the tent, and uh, I was really cold. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. How was uh, your sleep last night? Oh, it was uh, short, and I uh, was scared actually, because uh, I heard uh, a lot of rain coming down. And I was about to leave, but I said, ah, come on, <laughs> I can't leave now. <laughs> yeah. I leave uh, one and a half hour away. I mean, you could have gone home. Yeah, I could, that's why I said <laughs> A rain party. You got for me. Pitter patter. Pitter patter. Get out of I wonder what you got for me. This weekend I have tubeless, so for my third gravel event, I'm third time lucky, I'm feeling prepared. I'm curious to see like the the single track stuff because if it's like if it's like grass with a little bit of you know gravel or whatever, then that's gonna be pretty grippy. But if it's if it's blown out and it's just like a mud shoot like everything else is, you're I don't know how you're gonna stop or turn. So <laughs> anyways it's sick. Germany. It was uh, an eventful day, pouring rain in the morning, blue skies in the afternoon. It almost felt like two separate days. It's been an interesting experience getting to kind of meet everyone and learn out how they learn how they got here. Um, a common theme has been people just finding a new way to get into nature and experience freedom. Uh, let's go talk to some racers uh, before this party gets started. So, Miles. Yeah. You race road bikes and gravel, and you're just getting into mountain biking. Yeah. You're a Cat 1 racer? 1 2, but who's counting? Not me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. I feel like it's a balance, especially at a race like this, of knowing, like setting your own goals for yourself about what you want to do and, you know, feel good, have fun, ride well. Um, but obviously winning is contingent on how everybody else does as well. So I think it's it's kind of like this, this balance where you want to try to beat other people, but at the end of the day, if that doesn't go according to plan or someone like Carlos Verona shows up and you're like, well, <laughs> that's like a world that's world tour fitness that I'm never gonna have that at least right now you kind of have to manage expectations so I think it's a tricky thing to do a little bit but I, I think that it also forces you to maybe look at the day that you want to have and just feel good about the effort that you gave and how you rode your bike what are your uh, initial impressions of gravel in Europe is it uh you know, lots of competition or like crazy roads or what's what stood out the most for you? I mean like what I'm happy with gravel is like it's a race that I can compete. You know, like 
it's possible to win. Yeah. Uh, it's not like road racing, you know, in Europe. Like, so I'm happy with this. Like, that's a big impression for me. Like, it's a thing that I can win. So I'm happy with it. Yeah.